we've decided to ask Mark and Nathaniel for help. If anyone can come up with the perfect plan for you to finally tell Adrian you love him, it's them. What? Are you serious? Yeah, so? So they all know about me and how I feel about you-know-who? Everyone knows that you're crushing on Adrian. Even Adrian? Adrian is probably the only one who doesn't know. Of course, otherwise there'd be no story. We chose Mark and Nate because, as you know, they're the experts in romantic comedies. Mark writes and Nate draws. And since they succeeded in inventing a love story for Ladybug and Cat Noir in their first comic book, they're sure to think up the perfect plot between you and Adrian. Your story with Adrian seems really complicated. But it's actually very simple. It's just like a fairy tale, Nate. Usually, a mean old witch imprisons a princess in a castle guarded by a dragon, and a knight in shining armor has to save her. Well, this is the same story, except you're the Night Marinette, Adrian's the princess, the castle is his home, and the witch is his father, Gabriel Agrest. I'd have thought his father was the king. Or the dragon. His bodyguard would be the dragon. He looks the part. He looks more like a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> the main obstacle in a fairy tale can be the dragon. Or the witch. In Marinette and Adrian's story, it's Gabriel Agrest. But the witch Agrest has made a mistake. He's been letting his son out of the castle to go to school. And that's huh? where the good fairies come in. Us! Every week, we'll think up a new plan so that the knight can finally kiss the princess and they can finally live happily ever after with buckets of hamsters. Are you sure I can do this? We've rehearsed, and you're a natural, Marinette. But every time I'm alone with him, I get so flustered and... You won't be alone. I'll stay right here. Uh... What if he doesn't laugh? He will. You told me he knew my sketches. Of course, don't forget to always add the gimmick at the end. Uh... That's what gives rhythm to the sketch and lets the audience, I mean Adrian, know that it's time to laugh. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! <clears throat> <clears throat> You like Harry Clown, too? Uh, I've been invited, but I... You think I... he'll do his sketch on the clumsy sheriff? Uh, the clumsy who? Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, where did my hat go? Uh, right there. Uh... <laughs> Yeehaw! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to this madness ASAP. <sighs> okay, I need someone who hasn't been hit. Farewell, Ladybug. <gasps> Adrian! But I've been hit by risk. Maybe my idea is way too risky, or is it a risk not to take this risk? Am I doing this for the love of risk or the risk of love? <sighs> uh, no, it's Adrian, and he doesn't have the mark. It's a good idea. Tiki, Flop, Kalki, unify! Who are you? Oh, it's me, Ladybug. Or rather, Ladybug with a few extra powers. Pennybug! Wait! <sighs> You're all right. Adrian, I need your help. I have to find an object. Y your yo-yo gives you direct access to all the miraculous? The ones in my miracle box, yes. It's a magic shortcut. Wow. Adrian Agrest, here is the miraculous of the dog, which will grant you the power to locate and fetch whatever your ball has touched. You will use it for the greater good, then you will return it to me. Can I trust you? Mm. If you're doubting yourself, then trying is the only way you can gain the confidence you need. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Bart, the Clummy of Adoration. I'm so happy to have a new holder. You and I can play ball. All you have to say is Bark on the Hunt. With pleasure. Bark on the Hunt. Whee! <sighs> Thanks to your superpower, you can locate any object that you've touched before. Oh, uh, like this? No, with the ball. A light touch will be enough. Okay, I get it. What about the object I'm supposed to find? Where is it? Oh. In the past. Burrow! <sighs> we have to find that little boy before he was akumatized. You can travel through time? Yes. And even though time travel is always risky, today we have to take that risk. Froggy, come back! Found it! <clears throat> 
As soon as we know which object is going to be akumatized, you have to hit it with the ball, but without anyone seeing so you don't interfere with the course of events. Froggy, come back! It's time to go home! It's Fluffy! Of course! <clears throat> Whoa! Will it work on my parents, too? Let's go, come on! But we don't know where he's going to hide his bag. Thanks to your power, we don't need to. <clears throat> Fluff, Kelki, divide. <sighs> Come on, bring it. I'm not scared of you. Hurry, he won't last long. Fetch. Doing for you, Megakuma. Miraculous Ladybug. Yeah, uh, actually, how about we continue this later? You guys stay right there, okay? Awesome! Well done. You did what needed to be done on your first try. I knew you were the one I needed. You really are the best, Adrian. Uh, I, I mean. Flare-mittable. Call me Flare-mittable. It really suits you. <laughs> Found, Found it! it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Heads up, lady! Smells like a trap! Of course it's a trap! And the idea behind every good trap is that you can't escape it! Hoo-hoo! Ah! Hit the war! I'm on it! Lucky charm! An alarm clock? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Quick, hide! Can the war! Gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> the power of jubilation, where's the Miraculous of the Pig? A business card? With Monarch's address? Coca-Cola, your favorite flavor. You know, lately, you've become really charmy-owing. Am mm. I dreaming, or did you just steal one of my jokes? Now that Monarch has been defeated and we're no longer in danger, I think I get why you made jokes. Oh? And why is that? Because it's a way of saying it's good to be together. Is that a joke, too? <laughs> oh. Shut up, that alarm clock. I can't hear the movie. <laughs> Cataclysm the bottle warmer this time. Let's go! They're so cute at this age. I wish they'd never grow up. <laughs> Lady, it's Sunday. We have all of the time in the world. Again? All these alarm clocks
bats are turning into a real nightmare. <gasps> Noir, this is a dream. I know, my lady. Living with you is the sweetest dream. No, you don't get it. We're in an actual dream. Uh, are, are you saying this is all fake? No, Cat Noir. We have to wake up. I don't want to lose all of this. Neither do I, my sweet kitty. So kiss me. Something wrong? No, everything's fine. I just wanted to stick the stickers. Whenever I make stickers, I like to stick them myself. It's important for a designer of stickers. Oh, Luca, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know how to feel. I, I'm completely confused. I can't be in love with Adrian, because when I'm in love with Adrian, I make a giant mess of things. A few days ago, I made a huge mistake because of my feelings for him, and I ended up losing some very valuable things. Marinette. What's past is past. What matters is what tune your heart is playing now. Well, that's the thing. There's no tune anymore. Maybe because there's too much noise around you. Spending some time alone with Adrian will be a chance for you to listen to how you're feeling. But I can't go back to the Grevin Museum. Not with him. <sighs> Whoa! Eternity sounds like a long time! <laughs> but isn't spending time with him what you've always wanted? Yeah, I know, but that's what's weird. We've been schoolmates for months now, and I've been in love with him without ever being able to really talk to him. I've imagined stories with him, and then in real life, everything just failed miserably. What if that's all there is to it? Stories I told myself. What if I don't actually know him, and now he's coming to me? I should be happy. But the truth is, it just makes me uncomfortable. You're simply discerning between your dream Adrian and the real Adrian. But that's a good thing, Marinette. That's the only way you'll know if you really love him. But I'm scared, Luca. If only I had a friend to go with me, just so I'm less scared. Uh, why is Marinette bringing Luca along? Is she still in love with him? You're just experiencing jealousy, Adrian. I... you think so? why he wanted to see me. When he said his feelings had changed, what he meant was he's with Kagami. Well, at least the situation's clear now. Stop jumping to conclusions. Marinette, Luca, are you guys together? Yes, that's right. We're more together than ever. Uh, I'm happy for you two. Marinette? Well, I mean, together. <laughs> we came together is what I mean. How about you guys? I'm so glad to see that you guys patched things up. I knew you two were meant for each other. Marinette, you know perfectly well that Adrian and I are only just friends now. All right, we'll leave you two together now. Enjoy the visit. <laughs> I still can't hear a tune. I need you, please, Luca. Thank you, Kagami. You're welcome, but I'm staying. You'll probably still need me. Hello, Veronique. Adrian! Did we have an appointment? Is there a problem with your statue? No, Veronique. I just came with my friends for fun. Oh, excellent! If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Hmm? Veronique, you have an appointment with Mayor Bourgeois in five minutes. Very well, Alliance. I'd better hurry. We're discussing something new for the museum. But it's still a secret. I'll invite you all to the opening of this new hall. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Isn't she so great? 
Why don't we start in the Hall of Columns? Remember when you mistook me for a statue, Marinette? Uh, yeah! I remember really well, so well that maybe we should actually go check out another statue. What do you say? You kissed me. <laughs> yes! Oh no! Why, well, you call it a kiss, but it's the statue I almost kissed. It was more of a miss than a kiss. <laughs> I thought you were made of wax. My lips did get very close, but technically, you can't really call it a kiss. What's the official distance for a kiss anyway? Adrian's problem is that he doesn't realize his feelings for Marinette are love. I think it's because he's a kind and generous person. He loves everyone, and everyone loves him back. He's lost in a jungle of love. He can't read the signals Marinette sends him. That's true. Learning to read Marinette's signals is a complex endeavor. It took me a lot of time. And you leap backwards to stand at a respectful distance. I get it, mind you. It was awkward. I don't think I was feeling awkward. More like surprised. Not by what you were doing, but by how I was feeling. And how I was feeling was... Do not finish that sentence under any circumstance. Ah! Well, I think you may have more in common with Adrian than you think. Trust in yourself for once. Feeling jealous? I don't know. All I know is that I'd like to be in Luca's place. Then you should take his place. The hunt isn't over for Safari. Mirage! <laughs> So the hunter becomes the hunted, dear Safari, shall we? You look good in red with black polka dots. It brings out the color of your eyes. Wow. Thanks, I guess. Your outfit suits you too, but if we don't get to hunting, we'll become the prey again. Hmm? Lady Noir? Yes, yes, you're right. Prey, of course. We shouldn't become prey. You're right, of course. It depends on who's doing the hunting, hey? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Gotcha! Time to close on! Uh, how am I supposed to catch a non-existent Megakuma? You can uh. always try and catch this, bug! Hey! Don't you dare try to flatten my partner's gorgeous face! Don't be jealous. Safari's gonna flatten yours, too! Uh. Hey! That goes against the laws of physics! Destroying my gadgets doesn't destroy all my power. Most importantly, the power that never misses a target. The hunt is on! I told you going to the movies was a good idea. My suit has a really weird influence on you. Relinquish your miraculous! the one who wants the miraculous. What about you, Safari? What do you want? The same thing. A wish. Everyone wants to have one, right? Safari, what are you up to? Should I tell them the truth? <sighs> That's what I thought. Then off to grab my wish! There will be a price to pay! I have nothing left to lose. You do! You can lose yourself from the ones you love! You can lose anyone who loves you back! No matter who you are, there is always someone out there who loves you! <sighs> I destroyed everything she had. There was no akumatized object. All that's left is her suit. Her suit? The akumatized object isn't on her. Maybe it's back where she came from. We don't even know who she is. Well, in that case... Lucky charm! Bottle of perfume? The akumatized object must be at the Agrest Manor. Huh? Hold on, where'd you get that idea? The perfume, Gabriel Agrest? It all makes sense! Do you know how many times you've come up with questionable plans based on a radiator, a whistle, or even a playing card, all without explaining anything to me? Well, today, you have to trust me. You trust me? Of course I trust you. Go, I'll handle Safari. <laughs>
Playtime's over, little Akuma. Time to de-evilize! Gotcha! Bye-bye, little butterfly. Miraculous Mr. Bug! Watch out now, ma'am. Are you all right? Uh. Natalie, what's going on? She was akumatized by Monarch. Forcing such a fragile person to carry out his twisted plans. Monarch's a monster! He'll pay for this. <gasps> We've got to go. Will you be okay? Yes, thank you. Found it, Mr. Bug. Uh, aren't you forgetting something, milady? Uh, a kiss goodbye? Our miraculous? Of course! <laughs> I knew that. Obviously. I don't see him. He's gotta be here somewhere. I know how to find him. My friend Max has developed an app especially for locating him. And voila! Andre the Ice Cream Man is on the Ile scene. Uh. Hold on tight, Marinette. <laughs> she's not picking up. Do you think she's angry? <laughs> My name is Andre, Andre, the sweetheart matchmaker. We're the one that you want to. I'll find love for you. <laughs> Marinette and Capuar, what are you two doing here? We're here for ice cream, of course. Unless you're selling hot dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Cat Noir. But I make sweethearts ice cream, not jokers and good friends ice cream. Look, who do you see there next to Jean and Serge? Ladybug and Cat Noir. Their flavor is one of my classics. Love is not something you joke about. You, Cat Noir, are in love with a ladybug, and you, Marinette, are supposed to be in love with Adrian Agrest. Uh, no. no. Oh. Uh. Forget it, Andre. We'll do without the ice cream. You were in love with Adrian Agrest? Yes. But it just made me act in the worst ways. It was too much to bear. What about you? You're no longer in love with Ladybug? No. It was too much to bear. It just made me act in the worst ways. <laughs> At least you still have your fans. Maybe they wouldn't be such big fans if they knew who was really behind the mask. I'm fine with the mask. I don't care what's underneath. So you're really a fan? A super, super fan. Fan as in? Fan as in. Ready to do this. Oh. This? Yes. Even this. What about this? Wait, huh? what are we doing? This is too weird. We, I mean, I'm being a complete fool. No, no, you're not. You're great. No, I know who you are, but you don't know who I really am. And I'm taking advantage of you being a fan by kissing you. No, you're not. I am, and it's wrong. Ah! I am sick and tired of other people deciding what's good for me! I'm taking you home. Sick! I am sick of it! Why can't I be happy? Why can't I love whoever I want to love? You can't. <laughs> I can't. Not like this. A tender-hearted fan rejected by her idol and wounded by her pride? Now here's a date my Megakuma wouldn't miss for the world. Kalki, your power is now mine! Voyage, my Megakuma! Make this jilted lover dance the tango of broken romances! Uh, 
it! Resist! You have to resist! Unmasker! I am Monarch. If you knew who was hiding behind the mask of your idol, he wouldn't have any reason to reject you, would he? That's true. Please resist! Don't listen to him! I'm giving you the power to see what's behind any mask. All I want in return is Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous! Marinette, kiss me! Sorry, I shouldn't have kissed you again, but you weren't listening to me. I was just trying to help you, to save you. That wasn't a love kiss, it was... Uh, I'm just making it worse. I was almost traumatized. You were right. We're both being totally foolish. Miracle.